Hi, this is a Pi Simple GUI tips video. Um, I record these videos as a reference for my future self. But if you happened upon them, welcome to the channel and uh, hope you learn a little while you're here. Uh, so today we're talking about one of Pi Simple GUI's uh, predefined buttons. It's called the calendar chooser button. Uh, getting the date into a into your code is sometimes uh, something you want to do. So, uh, Pi Simple GUI gives us a way to pick a date similar to what we've seen, what you see in other programs, by bringing up a pop up calendar that you can navigate. So, um, then uh, I made a little demo program that also subtracts two dates. So uh, we're having to uh have a uh import a library called time dot date time library and um we're using the method called strp time strip uh string p time i guess uh what it does is it takes a string and turns it into a a string of a particular format and turns it into a uh, time value that we can do math on. Uh, so we needed that because uh, PySimple GUI returns a string of a date. So we needed to we need to turn it into something we can do math on for the program. Also, a little late toward the end of the program, we'll be talking about calendar icons and. Uh, Instead of button text, we put a, a, a image on our but, a button to make it look more like what you have. So uh, my advice would be to find something simple without a bunch of text on it. And uh, um, if you decide to choose one with a transparent background, that's what this cross hatching in here means. Uh, you'll have to worry about what your uh, button background color is so um and you can choose it but you have to do a little bit more than what i did so i chose buttons that have a you know a full non-transparent background opaque trans uh background so i don't have to worry about the button color itself so anyhow um this is what we're looking for icons i just did a search calendar icons and you get plenty to deal with but like I say, nothing with words because you're going to make this fairly small and uh, uh, you're probably not going to be able to read the letters. So let's get on to the code, I guess. So go to the code. And um, it's not too much code here as far as that goes. Like I said, we've got the Pi Simple GUI and the date time library so we can do our math. So this uh, layout. Basically, it lets you input two two dates, or, and uh, you have a button to calculate the difference and a button to exit, and then we display the difference in a text box at the bottom of the window. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, we'll talk about the differences between the two calendar buttons in a little bit here. Uh, but as far as uh, events, you got the normal wing close and exit button events. But then uh, we have the event that when you hit the calculate difference button, it just, like I said, turns it from a string into a, a date time object that can, you can do math on. So we're taking the arrival date and subtracting the departure date and coming up with a difference. And then we're just displaying it in down here. Uh, turning it back into a string, basically. So I guess next thing to do will be show it working. So like I said, we got departure date, arrival date. And uh, this is just uh, the first one. We just have normal text on a button, just like all of our other buttons. And you can see it's a special button called a calendar button, but then you got the button text here. Uh, we do put a location because 
we'll say uh, if we hit this, the, I got it at 200, 200. That'd be this corner here, 200, 200. If you didn't put that in, it would just drop this calendar frame or the right, uh, window right on top of this one. So uh, we really don't want that. So. And then this is the format that we're getting them in. Uh, like I said, that date time uh, STR P format will uh, let you choose what format it is. And this is going, this format here, combination here is a uh, full month and name, date is a number, and year is a four digit year, uh, like you see here. And I guess you add the comma in there, so it's got the comma. Make it official. Okay. And then we got the same here, and we're doing the exact same thing, except instead of a word, we're going to put a empty. We have to still include this, but we're putting a empty quotes here. And uh, uh, there's two ways you can do buttons. You can either have a... Uh, image file and have another file separate file next to your uh, program file so that you can grab an image but if you ever wanted to transport that to another computer or whatever you'd have to remember to get the uh, file for the images as well um, so there's a different way of doing it and it's called uh, base 64 images and you actually create a text uh, string that includes all the information of the image, and they call it base64. If you notice, we got this, and it's a binary, and it's just a super long, super long uh, string. Stretch it out here, yeah. So it's only one line. As long as you don't have word wrap on, you're good. It only takes up one line of code, but um this just allows you to uh, have an image is that so um luckily there's a nice little program in the demo pi simple GUI demos that will create that from an png and it'll uh, copy it to the clipboard um so uh let's um look at back at the code here at the calendar thing uh, so another thing we have, the size of this here is uh, where we got image subsample. So this is actually a reciprocal. So this is one six, the size of the normal of what we imported as a PNG. Uh, so if, as this number gets bigger, this gets smaller. So if you said 10 here, it'd be one tenth the size or whatever. Um, like I said, when you're picking out your PNGs, you want to have something without a whole lot of detail. Like I said, if you had words in there, you wouldn't be able to read them. And um, you can go smaller. So we we'll exit out of here, and I'll just go to one tenth and show you how small you can get. And of course, you're going to lose detail as you do that. So, but you can still tell it's a calendar. But I haven't showed the program working, so let's calculate it. So if we got from the first till the day, and we just say calculate difference, there's 21 and then day, and then we add days between dates. Um, of course, we can also go with our departure date after our arrival date. Uh, not that that can happen, but uh, it doesn't matter to the program. It just calculates as a negative seven days. So, yeah, so got that going on. So let's change this back to six. And I want to show you how to use this base 64 program. It's fairly easy to use and we'll create another image up here. Uh, I already downloaded one to my downloads, so uh, well, found one on the, that icon thing and downloaded it. So it's a rather short program. And 
a little bit of information here if you want to read about it. But uh, we're just going to go ahead and run it. And this is another one of them special buttons, the browse button. It will actually help you get a file browse out of here. Uh, um, calendar 4 is the one I want. And say OK. And he puts it in this box. And then when you say OK, it's going to do the uh, whatever calculations, and it's going to paste it to the clipboard and be ready to use. It also says, make sure you keep this window open or it'll disappear from your clipboard. So we don't want that to happen. So we, it's on our clipboard now. So we'll go up here and uh, we'll uh, create another one, cal underscore image. And we'll call this image two and then equals. And then we can paste this byte or byte list up here. And you can see how long it is. And now we got another one. You can see, you think oh, they're, they're exactly the same, but they start changing out here a little ways. Uh, so, in the end, so we got another image. So, we'll just change our image data to image two. And, like I say, we change that back to six so it's a little bit bigger. We got to actually close this clipboard window and then we'll start again. So now, now we got a yellow background. It's a little bit more, a uh, little different clipboard. And like I said, if you got room and you want to leave them big like this, this is probably a little bit more interesting than the last one. But uh, if we change this to a small size, we'll exit out of it and we'll change this to our one tenth size and run it again and you see yeah you really don't tell it's a calendar so that one had more uh, detail to the photo or to the image so uh, like i said if you want to make them small you want to get something that is doesn't have a whole lot of detail to it so anyhow so today we showed you about the calendar button and the base 64 image so Thanks for watching.